Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really good day today. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out this pink and purple poly gel kit from Gershon. I feel like it's been a while since I reviewed a Gershon poly gel kit, but I was really excited for this one because of the colors. You guys know if you've been following me for a while that I love pink and purple. Like I could literally do pink and purple nails all day, every day. Like those are literally like two of my favorite colors. So yeah, and I do like the fact that this kit does come with like a holographic powder. So when you do put the holographic powder on top of the three colors that come in the kit, um, it makes them into three different colors, like hollow colors, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is what the package looks like when you open everything up. I always love Gershon's packaging. I love that little like paint splatter design on the front, but they do kind of like make all of their kits like this. Somebody did say um, they should like maybe change up the packaging once in a while. And I do agree, like it could get like a little repetitive after a while. But yeah, it is still nice nonetheless. But anyways, um, yeah, you do get a little set of instructions and this is what um, the little kit looks like. It comes with three different colors um, and you do get some nail forms. Um, I'm not really sure how many are in here. I think it might be 50, um, but I'll leave all that info in the description. And this is like the little holographic powder. It's like a silver um, powder. So when you place it on top of the colors, um, it will look like whatever color you have underneath, but like holographic. Um, and it does come with like a little applicator. I was actually thinking about using this in the video today, but then the design that I actually did like kind of didn't go with like um, the holographic powder. So I didn't end up using it, but I do plan on using it in the future because I really do like this powder. It's really nice. Um, and you also do get like two separate bags of dual form and this is what they look like There's like 12 different sizes in here. I believe and you also get a 100 180 grit nail file as always One side is like 180 and the other side is 100 and you also get your dual ended um, gel brush with the gel brush on one side and like the little spatula to place the poly gel um, onto your nails on the other side. And I really feel like Gershon has been like really out here, you know, doing their thing. Um, I remember the first poly gel kit that I reviewed from them. It was like, okay. Um, that was like the poly gel kit that I um, used when I first started learning how to do poly gel. And I remember there being like bubbles in it and stuff. Um, but their formula lately has been really, really nice. I really feel like they did upgrade it. Um, so yeah, you also do get an eight milliliter base coat and a top coat. And you also get a really big bottle of slip solution um, and a nail cleanser. It's like a two in one. It's like a 50 milliliter bottle. Um, and it does have like a non spill cap. So when you pour your slip solution into the cap um, and you close it, and the bottle accidentally tips over it won't spill obviously um, and then the three colors are 15 milliliter and like i said before you get a pink purple and a clear which i'll be showing you some swatches that i did off camera so these are all the swatches um, i definitely do see an improvement with their clear the last clear that I tried from their first poly gel kit had a lot of like those little like tiny bubbles in it after curing, but this one is really nice. It doesn't do that anymore. I also like the purple color because it is like a jelly color. And then um, obviously you have the pink hair, which is like a really nice shade of baby pink. So overall, all the colors are really, really cute. And you can put the holographic powder on top of all of them which will give them a whole different look, which is what I also like about them as well. So yeah, the links as always will be in the description box. If you guys are interested in this kit after watching the video, but yeah, moving on to the tutorial. 
Um, I did go ahead and prep my nails off camera and I'm actually going to be using my non-dominant hand um, in this video today so you guys can see how I do that. I figured I'd go ahead and um, change it up. Plus I didn't really know what I wanted to do at first so I said let me just do my other hand first and then film this hand when I got my ideas all together and everything. So yeah, I did prep my nails off camera and like um, apply my dehydrator and primer and I did go in with a layer of base gel. I also did put a thin layer of like nude poly gel on my nails um, just to kind of like cover up the poly gel that was underneath there because I didn't have enough time to really like file it off. And I didn't want like all these colors to be like peeking through since the purple is like a translucent color. But yeah, I decided to do kind of like a tie-dye, like marble design. Um, for some reason, it was giving me like tie-dye vibes, but at the same time, it does kind of look marble. So it kind of looks like both, which is really, really cool. So I'm using the pink and the purple shade, um, and I'm placing just a little bead of each um, color onto my nail. And I'm just using the spatula to swirl them together. I'm not swirling them a lot because I want to be able to see like, um, both colors and it just makes it look more unique when you don't like over swirl the poly gel if you know what I mean So yeah after I'm done like swirling the poly gel all I do is pat it in place like I do with like all of my marbles Which is really really easy. You always want to like start by the cuticle and just work your way side to side down the nail um, and I am keeping this layer thin because I will be adding glitters on top of this um, and encapsulating them so you do want to like keep the bottom layer of your nails pretty thin so that when you go ahead and encapsulate them you don't like over bulk the nails and you have like all this extra filing to do i will also be like flash curing as i go along
Next, I'm gonna be taking some of the base gel from the kit and I'm gonna be applying it to the entire nail on all of the nails. And I'm gonna be like placing these little heart glitters at the tip of the nails. These little heart glitters I got off of eBay and they came in like a set of like 12 different colors. If I can find it, I will link it below. I've had these little hearts for like years. They last like so long and they're still like really full, like the little jars. But then again, I don't really use them that much, but yeah, they do go a long way. Um, and they're so cute. They come with like so many different colors. So I'm using like some big ones and small ones and kind of like I'm um, doing a pattern like a big one, small one, big one, small one, just like going across the nail at the tip of the nails like they're floating. Um, but I'm changing the pattern of the one on the ring finger um, just to go like kind of side to side rather than straight up and down if that makes any sense. Um, and yeah, don't mind the way I'm holding the brush. Um, I'm nowhere near perfect with using my non-dominant hand. I just want to make that clear now, but I do get the job done. Um, I literally taught myself how to use my left hand to do my nails, but I'm not like an expert at it or anything. Um, but yeah, basically, like I said, I get the job done. Um, it is a little bit of a struggle for me still. Um, but yeah, I managed to do it. Um, I just work really slow when it comes to my um, non-dominant hand. You guys probably can't tell that in the video because it is sped up. But this is one of the reasons why it takes me so long to do my nails is because, um, yeah, it's like I'm slow when I'm using this hand. But I think it's like that for everybody really. Um, but yeah, for some reason it takes me extra long. I don't know if I'll ever get fast at using my non-dominant hand. I hope I do, but it's really bad because I am a perfectionist at the same time. So yeah, that makes it even worse and it makes me take even longer. All right, so the last step is to go ahead and encapsulate the nails. I'm just squeezing the poly gel out onto the nail, kind of like already in the form with like the rounded side at the cuticle. So all I have to do now is like go in and pat everything in place. Um, this poly gel is really um, nice. Um, their first clear used to be like super soft. But this one has a little bit more firmness to it, which I kind of do like because it doesn't run into your cuticles as much and there's like no bubbles in it, which is really nice as well. They definitely did improve their poly gels. So yeah, I'm really proud of them for that. Um, they've really been doing their thing with their formulas <laughs> lately. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm starting by the cuticle as always, pretty much like I did when I patted the marble in place. I started by the cuticle and then just working side to side down the nail. Make sure you're getting like the um, sidewalls covered with the poly gel and everything. And if you do have a little bit of extra poly gel, you can just remove it with that spatula and wipe it on your paper towel. Um, I will also be like flash curing as I go along. Um, but I do a cure in my lamp for 60 seconds before I go to file shape and buff to make sure that the nails are fully cured. And I also do cleanse them with the cleanser to get that tacky layer off. Um, after you cure gel in your lamp, um, it does get like that tacky layer, which is that inhibition layer. You do need to like cleanse that with the cleanser from the kit before you even go and file.
Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and just start shaping up the nails. I'm using my fine grit safety bit from a cart to debulk the nails. I'm also using my 2-in-1 e-file and dust collector from Melody Susie. I love this thing. Ever since I got it, I have not stopped using it in my videos. I just love it. It's like the perfect thing. You get an e-file and a dust collector all in one. And this thing like sucks the dust up so good. Like, and it's so easy to clean when you dump the dust out of the filter, like all of it comes out. It doesn't get like stuck in there or anything like that. I just love it so much. You guys should definitely check out this dust collector. If you're like looking for a good dust collector or an e-file, you can't go wrong with this because um, it's like a two in one. So yeah, um, and I do have a discount code with them. So I'll leave that down below as well. So yeah, basically I'm just going around the cuticle and like smoothing over the nail, um, like tapering in the side walls and going underneath the nail. Um, like I said, I'm not the best um, with my non-dominant hand, so don't judge me, but um, you know, I just do my best, try to like e-file the best I can. Um, like I said, I'm only right-handed. So I do try my best. But yeah, you always want to make sure that you're like holding your um, drill bit parallel to your nail. You never want to like hold it like at an angle and like file because then you'll cause like indentations in your nail. Um, and I'm also going to be going in with my cuticle bit from a cart um, to like seal around the cuticle. 
um, right now, like I said, I'm only just debulking the nails to get like most of the bulk off and then I'll go in and seal around the cuticle. I'll also have the link to the drill bits I use um, in the description box under the products that I use from Amazon. Now I'm just going to take the hand file and shape up the nails. Um, when I'm using my non-dominant hand, I file um, very differently as you can see. Um, so basically, to explain it the best way I can, I hold the hand file um, in the direction that I want to file my nails and rather than filing with the hand file, I um, use my nail and like file against the hand file like that. Um, it's just easier for me to do it that way when I'm using my non-dominant hand um, So yeah to get like the coffin shape you're gonna want to hold the hand file straight um, And I file like that a couple times on each side as you can see I'm going in holding the file straight and then I will hold the file at an angle and then file my nail against the hand file like that at an angle if that makes any sense but yeah, I'm mainly using my hand to um, file against the file and just holding the hand file still with my other hand. That sounded like so confusing, but I hope you guys get what I'm saying. And sometimes I do like file over the surface of the nail if I feel like it's a little bit uneven or whatever. And I also like hold the file at an angle to file the free edge um, really straight so that the nails come out straight as well. Um, and I do like just buff over the surface of the nails and like underneath them after filing um, to make sure that I get like out any scratches 
or anything but yeah the filing portion um, of the nails when I'm using my non-dominant hand is a part that takes literally the longest out of um, everything when I do my nails which is like literally the most annoying part is doing um, my nails with my non-dominant hand it just like takes me forever I don't know I don't know if any of you guys have that problem but maybe it's because I'm like a perfectionist it takes me forever but yeah hopefully one of these days um i can get a little bit faster And to finish up the design, I'm just going to go ahead and top coat all of the nails. I'm going to also top coating the underside of the nails because the purple is a translucent color. So you want to top coat the underside so that when, um, you know, you see through it, it looks like, you know, really clear underneath your nails and you don't see like any buffing scratches because that top coat is going to help get rid of all that. It's kind of like a blurring effect, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I hope you guys did like this design. Um, for some reason, it gives me like marble tie-dye vibes. I just love the way they turned out. They're simple but cute and they really remind me of like Valentine's Day. And you could even wear these like outside of Valentine's Day. I mean, I would. But yeah, I hope you guys like them. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, let me know what you think about this new poly gel kit from Gershon. Um, I would really love to hear your thoughts and I always love reading your nice comments. So thank you all for that as well. And if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go ahead and do that too because I do post on there about my upcoming tutorials and this is the finished look and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.